720p, Full HD, 4K, Ultra High Def, Retina, PPI. When it comes to display resolutions, these terms can be confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Think of it this way. Each display, whether it's your smartphone or your TV, is made up of plenty of pixels, tiny squares that give out color and light information. Resolution refers to how many pixels there are on your display. For a standard HD or high definition display, that's 1280 pixels by 720 pixels or 720p. Now, don't confuse HD with Full HD. They're different. Full HD has even more pixels, 1920 by 1080 pixels to be exact. Some also call it 1080p. I'm sure you've also heard about ultra high def or 4K displays. Those have even more pixels, 3840 by 2160. The more pixels you can squeeze into a display, the sharper the image. But displays come in many sizes. For smartphones, they hover between 4 to 5.5 inches, while the average HD TV is around 30 to 55 inches. If you're comparing two Full HD devices, they both will have the same amount of pixels, of course, but a Full HD display on a 5-inch phone will have smaller pixels than, say, a 55-inch TV. One way to measure pixel density, or how compressed pixels are on your display, is via a unit of measure called pixels per inch, or PPI. The 55-inch Full HD TV has a pixel density of 40 PPI, while the 5-inch Full HD smartphone has a pixel density of 440 PPI, meaning its pixels are 10 times smaller than that of the TV. So, why does a smartphone need smaller, more compressed pixels? It's all about distance of the device from your eyes. The goal is for the pixels to be small enough so they cannot be distinguishable by the naked eye. The recommended viewing distance for a 55-inch TV is anywhere between 8 to 9 feet away. When you sit that far away, the pixels don't need to be that small. If you've ever gone up to a TV and seen something that looks like this, you're actually seeing the pixels. Smartphones, on the other hand, are held at a distance of 6 to 12 inches away. This is where Apple's Retina display comes in. A Retina display is just Apple marketing speak for a display that has more pixels than the human retina can differentiate. Steve Jobs said the magic number was 300 ppi, or something held 10 to 12 inches away. The original Retina iPhone had 326 ppi. While that number is debatable, the reality is there is indeed a fundamental limit determined by how much the eyes can see and the distance at which you are viewing the image from. In an effort to sell devices, companies will always market bigger and better displays. These days, it's ultra-high-def 4K TVs and 2K smartphones. But if you ask me, Full HD looks pretty good on both a smartphone and a TV. Unless you're buying a TV over 60 inches, you probably don't need 4K. Most cinemas project movies at 4K also. I've used a 2K LG G3 for a month now, and I can hardly tell the difference between that and a Full HD Galaxy S5. Okay, so you've picked the display that's right for you, but that's only half of the puzzle. The other half is content. To make the most out of your HD TV, you'll also need HD content. If you're looking at physical media and want Full HD, get a Blu-ray disc. Movies downloaded from iTunes go all the way up to Full HD. Videos streamed via a service like Netflix are HD or Full HD, depending on the device you're using. Except House of Cards Season 2, that's available in 4K. Some videos on YouTube can also go up to 4K, but most of the time will only go up to Full HD. To make sure, just click on the gear icon and look for the 1080p option. In the Philippines, no free TV channels are broadcast in HD. So, if you watch a lot of TV, it's best to look for a cable provider that has HD sports and movie channels. On the reverse side of things, content is also about acquisition. Many new smartphones and cameras tout 4K video capture. But what good is that feature if you don't have a 4K display to view them on? If you're watching 4K video from a smartphone on a Full HD TV, all you're really getting is Full HD. So keep all of this in mind when buying a new device. How big is the display I'm getting? How far away will it be positioned? Do I have access to HD movies and HD TV shows? And of course, what's my budget?